copilot in in Microsoft Fabric. And that's actually amazing because the copilot makes the entire journey of the data from preparing the data to getting data engineering or data science with building predictive models all the way to the business users who are looking for insights just make it so much easier. It's like having an expert sitting next to you. All right, so I'm going to start in Data Factory, and I have some data that I want to prepare, and I'm going to use the power of generative AI to do so. So I've got some e-bike rental data, uh, so like start stations, end stations, when the trip started, when the trip ended, and I need to prepare this for some of my analysis. Now, I could use the UI in Power Query to do so, but I'd rather use Power Query, or excuse me, use Copilot, because it's much easier. So what I'm going to do is just start by asking a question here. And I, you know, I'm going to ask for the duration of trips. You know, there's a start date and an end date. And just by asking for the duration, Copilot's smart enough to look in the table and give me the calculation between start and end. I didn't even have to ask for those specific columns. It just built that calculation for me. I can do simple stuff as well, like just asking to rename a column. So let's rename that column I just created. Um, and, but now I can do something even more complicated. Let's ask for some grouping of the durations. Uh, to be able to slice and dice in my report. And Copilot used its intelligence to say, hey, a short trip is under 10 minutes, a long trip is over 20 minutes. So it's using its intelligence and, again, building that transformation for me. Now I have the temperature in Fahrenheit, the, the time of the trip. Maybe I want to ask to convert that to Celsius. Now, again, Copilot has knowledge of what that formula is. It just applied it for me. And I can do some, this is really cool here. I'm going to ask to filter out the trips on rainy days. There's a precipitation column in the data. Copilot's smart enough to know that rainy days had precipitation, so it filters only to days with no precipitation. This is really intelligent, right? And we can do even more. Let's switch back to the diagram view here. And I've got multiple tables of data, and maybe I want to join them together. So I'm just going to ask Copilot to create a new query that joins some of this data, maybe my members and my trips, because I have member details for each person that rented a bike. And automatically, it's, Copilot saw there was a matching column, and it built the join for me. And now I can use the UI to kind of pick which specific columns I want. And it's all multimodal, right? So I can rename things manually, or I could kind of work with these steps manually. So it's all kind of just this really fluid experience. Now I'm going to ask for one more uh, query here where I want some bike statistics. And I'm going to ask for group buys from the bike ID column. Copilot joined two tables together, built all the group buys, and now I have like a cool statistics table uh, just like that. You know, so it's transforming, working with my data, just asking for what I'm looking for, and Copilot's building these formulas for me. So we've taken the same data we were just working with, but now I've loaded it into a notebook. And I've created a couple data frames here for my trips. Uh, and you know, I could come in here and start coding on my own, but like I said, I'm not a particularly proficient Python coder. So I'm going to ask Copilot for some help. And so the first thing I'm going to do, let's make a little space here. I'm going to ask to get started. And I'm going to get some suggested visualizations of my data from Copilot. So I'm going to say, go look at this data frame and tell me what I might be able to do with it. Now, it's given me a bunch of different suggestions based on my data. And it's actually described my data a little bit to me. And I can just ask for any of these suggestions and say, hey, help me build some code to go do any of these. So I'm going to start by asking for a, a column chart, looking at the number of trips by start station. And automatically, Copilot has generated that code. And I can go insert it into the notebook. I can look at the code and go ahead and run it. And so I didn't have to know how to write that code. I just asked what I was looking for. And now I have this beautiful visualization here that helps me understand the shape of my data. Now, I'm going to go a little further here. I'm going to ask that it suggested a heat map. So I'm going to ask for the heat map it suggested. Uh, and I want to see a heat map of trip duration by start and end station. So I can see uh, you know, maybe where bikes are starting, where they're ending. Again, it's given me that code. I can look at it here and just hit run. Uh, and now it's going to give me this beautiful heat map that's fully interactive. I can zoom in, zoom out. This is delightful for me as a user. I mean, when this popped up, I was like, oh, this is so cool. And there's actually some outliers in the data. It turns out there's longer trips starting from San Jose State University, of all things, right? Um, but I can play with that data. And again, you can see it's really fluid to just ask for what I'm looking for, get this code generated for me. You know, the task main is great, but I'd really like to work just in the canvas here. I can do that as well, just by typing percent percent code. I can now just ask for what I want. And now I'm going to do something a little more complicated. I'm going to ask for a new forecast. I wanted to use the profit forecasting library from Facebook. I never used this before. Um, and I'm going to describe the output I want the table to come in. So it's actually doing a couple group buys along the way. And it generated some pretty complicated code. A lot I, of code. I would never know how to do this on my own. I had to shape the data. I actually had to kind of iterate through things multiple times to get it to take in all these additional factors I wanted it to account for. But now it's generated that forecast for me. So again, I can just ask for, hey, let's see a visualization of this forecast, see a line chart of it. And again, it's given me the code. So now I can see, uh, get an idea of what uh, the forecast data that's been generated. And finally, I'm going to ask uh, Copilot to give me some code to just write that data back to the lake house. Because now it's in that one copy, and we can use it in all the other workloads that we have.
I mean, this is, I mean, this is mind blowing in terms of up leveling my skill. Uh, you know, it's kind of turned me into a, a data scientist overnight. Yeah, it's just yeah, Co Copilot and Power BI is super exciting. Uh, we've been working super hard, and I can't wait for it to start rolling out this week. Uh, let's take a look at now using uh, Power BI to build a report on all this data we've prepped. Uh, and then this forecast that we've generated. So and I want to create a new report, and I'm going to use Copilot to do so. So let's click New Report. Obviously, I could drag and drop and start on my own, but using Copilot's way more fun. So I'm going to open the Copilot task pane, and I'm going to ask Copilot for some, some suggestions of different uh, report pages I might want to build. It's going to look at my data. It sees all the different uh, things I have in the schema, and it's suggesting, in fact, it suggested one of the uh, pages to look at the trip forecast so we can optimize where our bikes are. Just by submitting that prompt to Copilot, it builds this beautiful report page for me. Just I wouldn't know click. how to build something so exactly. beautiful. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's a great starting point. Uh, and so, you know, it might not have everything I want in it, but, oh my, it's beautiful. It's, it saves me a bunch of time. And it's fully, you know, multimodal. So now I can use this as my starting point, and I can start dragging and dropping and configuring this as, for my needs. Maybe I want to bring the number of historical trips so I can compare it to the forecast and see the overall shape. Super easy to use. Let's ask for another page. This time I'm going to ask for trip statistics um, and station status, right? Because it's kind of interesting to look at our different uh, start stations and end stations. And again, another beautiful page. It's included some slicers so I can slice and dice by city. I've got this map so I can zoom in and zoom out on where the trips are starting. And there's this really interesting trend. You, know, you can see that people are renting bikes in the morning for the morning rush hour and the afternoon for the afternoon rush hour. But I want to do some analytics here, so let's drag and drop. Uh, the average trip duration. This is based on real data. It's real data. It turns out there's this big spike at 2 a.m. This is kind of interesting. What's happening at 2 a.m.? I guess the, you know, maybe the bars are letting out. So I can cross highlight. Uh, and if I look over, I see that it turns out like University, San Jose State University, you saw that earlier. Can you ask the copilot? Yeah, question? exactly. I don't, you know, I have a suspicion here, but this is really cool. We built in the ability to ask copilot questions about data in the report. So I can come here and say, ask, you know, which stations have the highest percentage of long trips? And that data is kind of buried in the report. There's a little bit of math needed. But Copilot's going to look at the data, and, and it built this calculation for me on the fly and gave me an answer right here. So I can see, indeed, University and Emerson. Uh, there's some stuff in Palo Alto. So it kind of confirms my suspicion. Way easier than exporting it to Excel and doing all this manipulation manually. Now I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to add a new visualization to the page. This is our first Copilot-powered visualization. And what it allows me to do is ask a Copilot with a prompt and it's going to look at the data in the report and build a narrative summary that's included in my report. So I gave it a prompt, look at five bullets about station status. It's given me my five bullets with interesting facts uh, about uh, the data. Everything is cited, so I can hover and see where Copilot's taking the data from, so I can kind of double check its math if I'm not confident. Uh, and it's now built in. It'll update as the data changes.